tonight on NBC. Good afternoon, everyone. John Sessions along with Chris Justice here at the Weather Center, keeping an update on the dangerous situation. Tornado watch continues for the entire area as we go from now through early this evening. And now just moments ago, this red box right here in Rutherford County and parts of Polk County. We'll go ahead and zoom on in there for us. Chris, that is a tornado warning. We're getting some rotation right here with this cell uh, right through here just north of you folks in Landrum. So we're talking Polk County over into, or is this into Rutherford County? Uh, let's see. Polk we, and Rutherford. And, yeah. Both Polk and Rutherford County. Tornado warning now does include you folks in Rutherfordton, and it goes until 345 this afternoon. It's from this cell right here, and look at that. Wow, look at the, wow, Chris, that is strong rotation right there. This is a possible tornado on the ground uh, right along, what is it, Highway 74, and this cell is moving for you folks in Rutherfordton. So you folks in Rutherfordton, you need to take cover immediately. Go to the, your, the safest spot in your home, uh, lowest floor, put as many walls between you and the exterior as possible. Storm tracker showing it's going to be in Rutherfordton at about 324. It's, it's moving pretty fast, this cell. So it's 315 right now, and you can see how fast this cell is moving, and it's got a nice little hook right here, Chris. Uh, I'll let you, Chris, go ahead and zoom on in, and we'll take a closer look. This whole red box is a tornado warning. You need to take cover immediately. John Chris. Highway 74 right there is a big thoroughfare that uh, connects Charlotte and the Asheville-Hendersonville area. A lot of folks travel that on Sundays going back and forth to work or school. Uh, here we go. This does have that signature right there. And if there's a tornado, it's right there on Highway 9 or Highway 74. And let me turn on the velocity. We'll zoom right into street level and show you what's going on. Look at that. That is wow. a clear indication of that green going toward our radar site in South Carolina and then the red going away from that radar site. A tight couple there just north of Highway 74, John. And mm -hmm. uh, let's zoom in to street level here. Maybe we can get a community here just north of Highway 74, south of Highway 108. A lot of rotation here. Looks like we got Abrams and Moore Road and Ponder Road. That's where the greatest rotation, and that is to the second, John. Our live Super Doppler mm -hmm. is just that. It is live. And this is heading toward the northeast, toward Rutherfordton very quickly. This uh, is showing clear signs, probably the strongest that we've had all day, John, that this could possibly be a tornado on the ground. Absolutely. That's a, that is the strongest uh, we've seen so far as far as an individual cell. That's incredibly bright green. And look how fast it developed. It literally developed so quickly as it developed just east of you folks in Columbus. And it's moving away from you, but it's moving right for you folks in Rutherfordton. So you need to take cover immediately. Do we have some of those safety tips for you? Uh, it's basically just in the lowest floor of your home, uh, maybe an interior bathroom that especially does not have windows or anything like that. You can come back uh, to me. That's fine. It looks like the safety tips are not popping up, but uh, you want to get indoors, lowest floor possible uh, with this potential tornado. Uh, we're not, are we getting anything in the, the chat room, uh, Chris, from the National Weather Service about in, Just in, a, in, anything being reported on the ground from spotters or anything? No reports from spotters yet, uh, but a little more detail here. Uh, possible radar indicated near Hamilton Branch State Park. Mm -hmm. Hamilton Branch State Park, 18 miles northwest of Evans moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. It's booking it toward the north there. So Rutherfordton, you need to be in your safe spot if it continues, southern Burke County, southern McDowell County. But uh, this is right along the Polk and the Rutherford County lines right now. Uh, the tightest circulation that we've seen so far today, John, and this is uh, only getting going. We've got a lot more cells back toward the west that need watching, but this is right now the cell to watch. Tornado warning, uh, it looks like until 345 this afternoon. So a uh, clear signature there on radar. Absolutely. And let's go ahead and you can see it right here, that little bit of a hook right here. And this thing's racing very quickly toward you folks in Rutherfordton. Here's your safety tips. So I think we've got them for you now. Um, obviously, you want to go to the lowest floor in the event of a tornado warning issued in your location. Uh, if you are inside, go to an interior room with no windows where you'll be protected from glass and other flying debris. Uh, if, you've got a, if you've got time, you may want to grab your pillow and put the pillow over your, your face to protect yourself from flying debris if it does hit your home. If you're outside, hurry to a basement or a nearby building or lay flat in a ditch or low-lying area to protect your head and neck uh, with your hands. Uh, if you're in a car or, or mobile home, get out immediately. Head for safety. Don't try to outrun a tornado with your car. Automobiles can be tossed around uh, by the high winds of a tornado. After the storm passes, watch out for fallen power lines and stay out of the damaged areas. Obviously, stay tuned to WYFF4, uh, WYFF4.2 or the weather alert radio. 
and for information and instructions. And of course, Chris and I will keep you updated. Here's Storm Tracker. So it's getting close to you folks. We're only about uh, maybe 10 minutes away from you folks in Rutherford, Tim. Uh, Logan at 332, Sunshine at 337. Uh, and then it is moving very, very quickly off the northeast. This cell, Chris, is moving it uh, north, northeast at about, what, 50, 55 miles per hour. So it is racing off quickly. And this cell may eventually make its way up into Burke County. And uh, you folks may be even in to possibly make parts of McDowell County. Uh, so you folks in Columbus, you guys in Lake Lower, you're in the all clear because this cell is moving away from you. It's moving northeast very, very quickly. Let's go back to the velocities again, Chris, and zoom in, take a closer look at this. And it is still very, very strong rotation here. Very strong. This is the best of rotation we've had so far. Counterclockwise circulation. There's your tornado possibly right there. Uh, 35 mile per hour winds going in, 45 out. Is that right? That's yes. right. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, very strong. So you folks in Rutherfordton, uh, Green Hill, Logan, all of you folks that need to take cover immediately. Uh, you need to go to your safe spot right now. That is still real strong. That's just as strong as it's been over the last 15 minutes, Chris. That is really strong. Winds yeah. going away from the radar site. Um, and these are actually going toward the radar site, away from the radar site. So you have your counterclockwise circulation. And right in there is a potential tornado. Do we have any debris? Is that, sometimes that shows up. We can also dissect inside this thunderstorm with light super Doppler 4 HD and find some debris. Uh, so far, not, no debris. Uh, it may, it's possible maybe it's just barely above the ground. Uh, it's still showing a pretty good notch right there for, this, for the tornado itself and heading toward you folks in Rutherfordton. Yeah, there's the latest right there, Chris. Yeah, John. That's, uh, that's, pre that's pretty um, and pretty impressive looking cell. And 74 right there, like I mentioned, just a big thoroughfare between folks that want to travel from the Lake Lure area, Hendersonville and Asheville, towards Charlotte or Rutherfordton. Uh, it is a, 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 a very popular road uh, this time of the, the day on a Sunday. A lot of folks travel back and forth to work for the week. Rutherfordton right now, just northwest of you, really between Green Hill and Rutherfordton. Uh, let's put a track on this because I'm going to find the velocity. There you go. Uh, still right there, John. That is still yeah. a clear indication. Let's put a storm tracker on as it moves toward the north and east. Looks like it's going to go... Let me just loop it here, John, just to make sure it's not going to go over the Rutherfordton. It's really just the western part of downtown Rutherfordton right. there. It does. It looks like it's... You're right, Chris. It looks like it's going to go right between Rutherfordton and Green Hill. So, Gilkey, Rutherfordton proper here. Let's put a fresh track on it here. We'll go out about 30 minutes. Uh, you need to be in your safe space in Gilkey there, 326. So, uh, right at the foothills of the mountains, that uh, terrain has enough uh, impact on these storms. Nonetheless, we've got a tremendous amount of power. Those of you that are just now joining in, let's recap what's going on. We've got two things going on. Our first batch of storms has moved through the area. That's why we have that warning there in Rutherford County. Our second batch is taking shape back toward East Tennessee and North Georgia near Rome. That's our concern into the evening hours because there is some sunshine in between here and there. So that'll be our concern later on. But right now, the primary threat is in Rutherford County, North Carolina. And John, this continues to show a, a strong indication on Doppler radar, uh, live Super Doppler 4 HD, zooming right into this, that we've got a clear signature here uh, that could be a tornado, also a clear signature of that rotation. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. And you notice uh, there are no other warnings across the Western Carolinas and Northeastern Georgia. Uh, the warning that we had earlier for you folks in uh, McCormick uh, County, uh, headed up into Greenwood, actually that has dissipated. So this is our only warning right now. We'll be getting the, heard some, some whistles here. Chris, what's the latest from the chat room? Yeah, I got some new information here. It's uh, like, they, oh, they've extended the warning. They uh, did, and they dropped Polk County. So Polk County, so, you were in your clear. You come out of your safe space. Polk County, you are now in the clear since the cell now has moved into Rutherford County and heading right for you folks in Rutherford. It's going to be a very, very close call right here. And this is, let's show the velocities again. This goes until 345, uh, so about another 15, 20 minutes or so. And it's still showing some very, very strong rotation right here. The bright green and bright red, very, very close together with this couplet. Uh, that means a potential for a tornado right about in through here. What is this, Highway uh, 64, Chris? Yeah, that's yeah, it. At 64. Heading just right north of 74. Just west of you folks in Rutherfordton, right over to Green Hill. Still very strong winds going in and out of this system as it moves quickly off the northeast. So, uh, Gilkey, uh, Logan. Well, watch out, especially uh, Gilkey, it looks like, as you head up north of Rutherfordton as we go through this afternoon. So still very, very strong rotation with this cell, and that is the only game in town right now. 
Uh, but as we pull on back, Chris, as you mentioned earlier, we still have some breaks in the clouds back here. Look at these thunderstorms. And I was just reading some information from the Storm Prediction Center out of Oklahoma. They're thinking about issuing a tornado watch here for East Tennessee because, see, these, these are cumulus clouds that are becoming cumulonimbus thunderstorms and a lot of wind shear and rotation here. So if they issue a tornado watch here, they may eventually extend our uh, watch a little bit later on this evening because that still has to come through. And then we still have the cold front back here. So we have all this clearing going on, and these are all the warnings, but there's, so far there's no warnings. They also issued a tornado watch closer to the low itself, up and through parts of the Ohio River Valley, up and through Kentucky, and also Indiana and Ohio. So notice we zoom in here, Chris, just a little, just for the ADI. Yep, we're looking pretty good here in the upstate, northeastern Georgia. Again, no warnings. It's just that tornado warning that continues for you folks in Rutherford County. And that's the velocities. Let's go zoom on in again and take a closer look at that. And that is still very impressive. Uh, no reports in the chat room, Chris? Yeah, just a reconfirmation that they're going to continue this warning here in uh, Rutherford County until 345. So about okay. another 15, 20 minutes there of that. Okay. Looks like it's starting to become a little bit more stretched out, a little more elongated here, Chris. But there's still a pretty good notch right there, exactly where the velocity winds are. Uh, what's so great about Doppler radar is you can... The old radar, all you can detect is where the precipitation is, how light or heavy it is. With Doppler radar, you can it tells you the wind speed and direction within a thunderstorm, within the shower itself. So that, that gives us an idea of what's going on before the tornado even possibly touches the ground. So this is going just between Green Hill and Rutherford, Chris. Got something to watch here. Interesting, John. The shear and the, the power of the storm over Rutherfordton is actually causing this cell uh, just north of there, east of 221, to begin to rotate as well. Noting that, Storm Prediction Center, and yep, there it is. Wow, that's uh, another 221, one. 221, another one. So uh, right near 221. Uh, heading uh, into parts of McDowell County, so south of Marion. Um, I would start preparing now. Be uh, be on alert mm -hmm. there in southern McDowell County. Uh, and it's approaching the I-40 corridor, John. That's uh, something to keep in mind, too. So 74, mm -hmm. Highway 74 is in the clear now. That goes right through Rutherford, but Highway 64. Um, and Highway 224 and north. 221, right. yep. Yep, yep. Got two. All the way up to Union Mills, uh, Thermal City. Got two cells here. Yeah, two. Yeah, two, there. two cells. I mean, look at this. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, this one's developing very quickly, Chris. Uh, and then most likely they're going to maybe issue a warning for this one. And this one's going to head northbound. So you, like Chris said, you folks in McDowell County, especially you folks in Marion, you need to watch that cell very closely. So these cells are developing very quickly into the Piedmont and foothills of North Carolina. And a lot of times these systems, that's exactly what happens when you get this one big piece of energy coming through. And they, they, they trigger these thunderstorms. They develop so fast, and the tornadoes develop so fast. And that's one of the reason why we're on the air right now. Uh, looks like uh, this is becoming a little bit more broad. Let's zoom into that cell in Rutherford County again, Chris, if you could. This bottom one here? Yes. Uh, the one, yep. It looks like it's uh, it's not not as much rotation. What about just out there? What's that? Um, this is the one right here. It's becoming... You know, I was talking about it we saw on the radar and the reflectivity. It looked, it looked like it became more elongated, Chris. Did you notice that? Yeah, and now we're And now we're starting to get a broader, see what's happening? We're not getting that little hook here, a little notch as much. Well, now it's going back again. That's what happens with these cells. Sometimes they weaken somewhat, then they fire back up again, then they weaken and they fire back up. Uh, and so you could possibly have a tornado, maybe a funnel cloud, back to nothing at all. It's a lot. Uh, so still very close to you folks in Logan, so you should still be in your safe uh, place. Uh, and then, of course, this cell right here developing, which is starting to move. That may move. That's still showing some pretty good signs right here, Chris. You put your finger right there on it, and then, right, and then when right, I showed the shear. Right there. That's just amazing. Right there. Strong counterclockwise circulation. And that's moving quickly north-northbound, so it's going to be very close to you folks in Marion. And we'll watch and see if the Weather Service decides to pull the trigger on that. Storm tracker showing where that's going. Uh, looks like, what, Faro at 328? Jacktown at 334, Bridgewater at 339, Linville at 344. So, Chris, two cells to watch very closely, and there and the most and uh, and other ones are developing. Also, we have one southeast of Morganton that doesn't look like it's good, rotating, but we'll have to watch that closely. And these are just rain showers back in Henderson and Transylvania counties with some brief, moderate to heavy rain. Also moving through Newberry County, and that's it. And then we have to watch this line back here. And we'll see if even a third lane develops with the front itself. So uh, we've got between now, at least I would say, Chris, up until maybe 9 or 10 o'clock, depending on what happens with this 
to our west. Let's take a look at that because normally you'd want sunshine on a Sunday like this, but not today. Our atmosphere is way too volatile. You have to think a few thousand feet above our head, we have a wind machine. I mean, it is just cranking. Uh, one of the highest tornado threats we've had in some time. You get these once or twice a year. This is one of those days you really need to take seriously. Give your friends and family in Rutherford County or could be traveling there in the mountains of western North Carolina into the foothills a call. Just let them know to stay put. We want to watch this line back to the west, as John was mentioning, because we really think we're going to see another flare-up of storms here uh, east of Chattanooga here, already starting to see the signs of that. There is a lot of sunshine in these areas. I'm going to show you the visible satellite. Basically, the whites are showing you the clouds. Where you don't see the white, that's sunshine. That's clear skies. It's only 3.30. We've got several more hours of the sun to warm us up, and that will re-trigger up some more storms. Let me show you the computer model before we get back to Rutherford County, because we're in a lull in the next couple of hours, but look at that line that's going to through here between six, seven, eight, nine o'clock. We need to watch that very closely. Well, let's get back to the, the main ball game in town, if you will, because uh, this cell in Rutherford County, and really at this point it's two cells, John, uh, causing concern of a tornado here. Uh, the rotation was just tremendous there in parts of Rutherford, and I'm going to pause it here, and we're going to look at the, uh, the velocity, which takes a look at the way the winds are blowing in this storm. It's not as pronounced, but Logan, you're seeing that rotation. There wow. it is, yeah, flared back up there. Sure you know, did. You know what's interesting, Chris? It almost looks like because uh, uh, it, it was heading actually up toward uh, farther to the west. It's almost like it's developed another maybe an outflow, and then it just fired up this one. This is now pretty intense, uh, just off to the north and west of you folks in Logan. So it looked like it was actually going this way. Then it kind of off on Highway 221, Chris, and then it kind of split over to here. It goes almost like it's almost like this rotation became this rotation yep. in the cell itself. Um, and that's what happens with some of these cells. Like even these other ones back here could actually start to spin something here close to you folks in Green Hill. So we'll have to watch these individual discrete cells is what we call them. And they're the ones that they really can rotate all by themselves. But what's really scary is a lot of times is when you can get these uh, tornadoes to develop and they're rain wrapped. And that happens a lot here in the south and across our area because you can't see the tornado. It's not like this nice funnel cloud uh, tornado that you see out in the Plain States. That's usually what we don't get here. So we still have the tornado warning for you folks in Rutherford County until 345 this afternoon. So we're about another, what, 14 minutes or so, Chris. Uh, and then that other cell farther to the north doesn't look like it's... Let's see the rotation on that one, Chris. A little farther to the north, the one that we were talking about up there in... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at that. A little bit McDowell right here. County. A little bit right through here in, in, in McDowell County. And go and come down just a little bit more so people can kind of get an idea that Marion should be right up here. There's Marion. So this is the cell. Now it's come down. It just goes, it just increases, it weakens, it increases. This one's still staying strong again. And it's about ready to move out of the county itself. So we'll see whether or not the National Weather Service extends this tornado warning farther north, maybe up into Burke. Well, I hear the, the whistle. Maybe that's what's going on. What do we have, Chris? Uh, just a reconfirmation. Oh, it's, uh, a, it's a severe thunderstorm warning, it looks like. Uh, yeah. If you could pull back a little bit, Chris, for me, please. Yeah, that's what they did. They issued a severe thunderstorm warning for now. Marion, Mor Morganton, all the way up through Burke and McDowell County, associated with all these individual cells. This one, north now. This yeah. one. This one. Uh, interesting to see. It was definitely showing rotation on all three of those, Chris. And this uh, tornado warning for Rutherford County is going to expire in about another 13 minutes or so. Uh, but they've issued this as severe thunderstorm warning, which means... Large hail, damaging winds, mainly the main threat is straight line damaging winds and extremely heavy rainfall. We've had very little lightning associated with these thunderstorms. And I think that's also been kept from more widespread severe weather. Because Chris and I were talking about this, there's so much strong winds aloft. But these showers are not that high up into the atmosphere. So they're not really tapping the extreme cold air or the extreme uh, strong winds. So that could be, let's see, as far as hail rotation, there's our rotation, our two cells, Chris, that we were just talking about. That's it. That right one there. Rutherford's still going strong. One, two, yep. A little bit over there, some farther north. So they've, the Weather Service has issued a severe storm warning for these three cells, basically. Uh, and the reason for it is that at least warns you of straight line damaging winds, 50, 60 miles per hour, and large hail. Uh, but then they can easily upgrade it to a tornado warning, the red box, if they need to, if we start to see stronger rotation. And right now that's not the case, except for the one here in Rutherford County, which still remains fairly strong. Uh, now it's come down a little bit, Chris. It's cycling, <laughs> it just, isn't it? It just cycles. It cycles back and forth. So this may still be strong enough to produce a funnel cloud, but whether or not it was on the ground through this area, uh, we'll see if any of the spotters were able to get out there and, and take a look at it, Chris.
Yeah, still no confirmation of, uh, of reports yet of anything on the ground. Certainly possible to see a funnel cloud out of that because that is a strong cell moving through. So if you're just now tuning in, let's show you what's going on. If you're watching in Greenville, Greenwood, Clemson, uh, you are clear right now. And in fact, you are really clear. Uh, got new information here. Yep. John, just as you mentioned, we've got a new tornado warning. Uh, which will continue here for McDowell, Burke, and Rutherford counties until 4 p.m. That is capable of producing a tornado 11 miles northeast of Rutherford. And that one that we just saw cycle yep. right back yep. up. I'll zoom into that for you there, John. Exactly. There it is. It's the red box right here, the new red box. And it does include you folks in Morganton, uh, east of you folks in Marion, but you're under the third storm warning. So this is still showing strong rotation. So how long this goes until you said uh, 4 o'clock? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. So the top of the hour. Now, moving in to you folks in Morganton, you need to take you need to take shelter immediately. Go to the your safe spot right now. Uh, tornado warning for now. Uh, northern, so it'd be northern uh, Rutherford County. Is that right, Chris? And then also into Burke County. Tornado yes. warning until four o'clock this evening. Does include you folks in Morganton. Uh, let's, let's show those uh, safety tips while we can again. Uh, if we if we have them up, if not, uh, you just need to go to the lowest floor in your home. Uh, put yourself in, in the interior, as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Uh, so inside, go to the interior room with no windows if you can. Uh, even a, a bathroom on the first floor that doesn't have any windows. Uh, if you have time, grab the, the pillow off your bed. Or even if you have like a twin bed, if you want to grab that mattress, uh, a twin mattress off your bed and your pillow and cover it. And you can lay it flat in the bathtub. In, in the uh, in the bathroom uh, and protect yourself obviously from flying glass and debris. If you're outside, hurry to the basement or a nearby building or lie flat in a ditch or low-lying area. Lie flat and protect your head and neck with your hands. So Chris, you want to go ahead? Oh, we got some more information here. Let's go to Chris quickly. Yeah, looking at this, uh, National Weather Service saying this is the strongest rotation they've seen all day there in Rutherford County. So let's get right to live Super Doppler 4 HG. Nothing happening in the upstate, but Rutherford County into parts of Southern McDowell County into Burke County. This is the strongest rotation they've seen so far today. That tornado warning goes until 4 p.m. So we're going to watch that very closely here. Let's show you that wind shear uh, and we'll zoom right into street level. It looks like it is exiting Rutherford County right basically on the McDowell County, Rutherford County line, crossing into Highway 226 there, just south of DeSartsville. We're going to have to watch that very closely because this is some very strong rotation. And, John, uh, the problem with this is we're looking now up into the mountains. So even though it may not look as potent on Doppler radar right here, uh, the National Weather Service saying this is some of the strongest rotation they've seen so far today. And this is pushing up toward the north. Let's put a track on this because this rotation is moving toward you folks in Burke County. It'll be in Brindleton at uh, 343, Glen Alpine at 351, and then Morganton proper there at 354. And John, just yesterday, Morganton had a funnel cloud reported out of a cell that moved through. So uh, they're no stranger to the tornado sirens going off uh, there in Burke County. Yeah, back-to-back -back days. Uh, that's incredible, Chris. Yeah, still showing some very strong rotation, as you can see. And now the rotation actually is embedded into the rain. So this is going to be maybe a potential rain-wrapped tornado. So you're not going to be able to see it. So that's why if you're in this tornado warning area, you need to take cover immediately. Do not look out your window. Don't go outside trying to find the tornado because you may not actually see it until it's actually upon you. And this could be upon you very, very quickly because this cell is moving quickly off the north northeast at up to 50 miles per hour. So these cells are racing very quickly. And then a couple more cells even back farther north. Now, do we have an, uh, is this another tornado warning, Chris? It looks like it's the old one. Uh, is that the old one? That's the one that's go ahead and click on that and see what that says. Because that one's back into the Loganton now. Let's see if this is another another warning here. It's Let's interesting. Here. That one goes to 345. That's probably the 345 one. That's why. Because uh, that will expire here in just a few minutes. And the other one's been extended for you folks in Burke County until 4 o'clock at the top of the hour. So tornado warning. Still some pretty good rotation right there, Chris. Uh, right there. Cool. Yeah. And, of course, this is looking at rotation. But, of course, this rotation, wow, that's a, that is by far the strongest winds we've had rotating so far. And now, sometimes the, the radar has to go through what we call a scan, and it scans, and it takes a little while. So this is actually up over there where that strong rotation is. It takes a little while for it to catch up to what's actually going live, which is what you were looking at at the live velocities. But this is a very, very strong rotation right there uh, all the way down 
into what is that highway? Mm -hmm. It's just uh, west of Highway 64, right, Chris? And Old Morganton Road, right yep. there. Yep. Yep, that's exactly where the rotation is. So if there's a tornado on the ground, it's on or Old Morganton Road, Highway 64, zooming into street level here. Uh, this is live Super Doppler 4, indicating some of the strongest rotation that we've had all day long. Very likely this could be a tornado touching the ground here because this is uh, very pronounced right at the foot of the mountains here, which doesn't help matters either. That gives it rotation in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Highway 64. There through the foothills of the mountains here in Rutherford County. That's where the strongest rotation is. Heading towards you folks in McDowell and Burke County. We're going to put a track on this here. I'll go out just a few moments here, 10, 15 minutes, so we get as many towns. Uh, Desartsville at 348, Brentleton at 351. And, John, that's, uh, that's looking pretty strong there with this radar and that notch there is where it's starting to kick into gear. So this tornado warning goes into, into gear for um, another 15, 25 minutes here. Yeah, and it's pretty interesting, too, when you even talk about this, Chris, the, the mountain, uh, the eastern and southeastern slopes of the mountains. And you think about it with this, with the counterclockwise circulation, right? And as that winds come like this, and as it bumps up against the eastern slopes and southeastern slopes of the mountains, it has to go up and over, right? So it actually causes the winds to become stronger as it goes up the eastern slopes of the mountains. That's why a lot of times right on the... Uh, just on the eastern slopes of the Blue Ridge Mountains, you can get some strong rotation, stronger than what normally is in the atmosphere that's up, that's there right now. So that's the reason why you can spin up and it can even get stronger. So uh, pretty impressive looking system, and we have incredible wind shear across the area right now. And uh, that storm trucker again, uh, wow, uh, Morganton at just after 4 o'clock. But, uh, of course, the warning goes for about another, what, 20 minutes, Chris, until the top of the hour, but then they could extend it. In the weather service, it just really depends on exactly if the system continues to stay very, very strong, which is what it's doing right now. Um, let's pull out a little bit more, Chris, and kind of flatten it out a little bit. I just wanted to make sure this is the same tornado warning that we had earlier. Yeah, that's going to expire here in a matter of minutes at 445. Looking back, these are just rain showers with some moderate to heavy rain. The upstate's nice and quiet. So is northeastern Georgia. Uh, here are those thunderstorms developing back into north Georgia now. And this line through Athens, Tennessee, back into northwestern Georgia. And these are cells that could move across the area. So here's the key. We've showed you the clearing that's taking place out there. But we still have some, a lot of low clouds in through here. Can we stay cloudy for the most part before this line comes in later on this evening? See, we have some clouds in through here. But boy, I tell you, right here, Chris, this is the visible satellite picture. And look at these little fluffy white clouds. Those are cumulus clouds. Now they're cumulonimbus thunderstorms. And they're going to come across our area. So if we see sunshine after this line moves away, Chris, that's going to destabilize our atmosphere even more. And we've got a potential for some more severe weather. And that's the key. If you're traveling somewhere, you probably have another hour or two in the upstate. But we want you to really stay put because the threat is not over for Greenville, Spartanburg, Anderson, even Asheville as we go into the evening hours because this line back toward the west means business. Let's get back to Rutherford County because this cell is showing some of the strongest rotation that we've seen all day long. This tornado warning uh, right at the foot of the mountains goes until 4 p.m. I want to slice this in half and show you what we're talking about with this because it is a very strong cell. Reports coming in. Uh, in fact, here we go. Uh, reports coming in just south of Marion. Uh, multiple trees down, one structure involved, as the uh, emergency managers are saying there. This storm itself, John, we've been talking about the height on these storms. Uh, thankfully, they're not going up past 25,000 feet or so. Mm -hmm. If they would go up that high, you have to think we have a tremendous amount of wind energy up in the northern part of the atmosphere. If those storms, the taller they grow, the more they're able to tap into that rotation. But right now, looking on all sides of this storm, it goes up to about 20,000 feet or so, which is allowing it to tap into some of that rotation. And let's look at that wind shear right now, John, because... Yep, there we go. I'll flatten it back out here for us so we know exactly where we're at. But uh, that rotation, uh, as high as 68 miles per hour, let's put an ID on it here. We'll see how it's going right now. Right at 60 miles per hour. So it's yeah. come down a bit, but uh, still, still pretty strong. Us. Yeah, put a track on it there. Brindleton at about 352. So getting some reports now in parts of Rutherford and McDowell County of some trees down involving one building at least uh, from Marion southbound to the Rutherford County line. And, John, that that's was the just, hot spot right now. That just was, came in. That was just south of Marion, your, the damage. Yep. Just south of Marion. Yep. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, still strong rotation. Still bright green, bright red, right there, very close together. And moving quickly off the northeast. And for you folks in Morganton, uh, you folks in Morganton, of course, you should be in your safe spot by now. 
as the warning goes until about another 17 minutes or so at the top of the hour. In another couple minutes, the other uh, tornado warning will have expired. Yeah, that's just very impressive looking, Chris, to say the least. That is still pretty strong. Um, right and there on the McDowell County line. Yep, yep. So we've got, and then we have, you know, other cells that are even farther back that, are, that aren't rotating, but we still have this whole yellow box, which is a severe thunderstorm storm warning, which still continues for you folks in Marion. And, of course, just south of Marion, we've had those super thunderstorms move through the area. So uh, things are looking pretty quiet out right now for the rest of our area. Uh, these are just heavy downpours of rain, no rotation through here, back into Brevard. Uh, Lake Lou, everything looking pretty good. It's just those cells into the foothills in Piedmont of North Carolina. And then we'll have to watch these cells developing very quickly back in East Tennessee and northwestern Georgia. We have some spirit storm warnings down close to around Valdosta in south central Georgia. But then we get a nice little break here in the upstate. We'll see how much sunshine, Chris, develops this afternoon in the upstate and back into northeastern Georgia. And that could really uh, cause our atmosphere to really bubble up, to say the least, before these thunderstorms come in to an unsettled area, to say the least. That's right, John. And why don't we walk you through that right now, because these storms that are moving through are going to cause us some problems. John, if you want to come over here, you can look at some of the latest model okay. data. Uh, we've got new information just about the volatility of our atmosphere. I'm going to walk over and show you this model here, guys. We'll take it full for you. Uh, the radar indicating what we have in store right now across our area is is volatile. We've got a lot of rotating storms in our area, but back toward the west, closer to the actual upper level low right here, uh, these storms have more lift to them. So as they move through our area, like we talked about earlier, they're going to be able to climb higher in the atmosphere. That will allow these storms to tap into that wind energy and possibly rotate even more. So our eyes are on this for Greenville, Spartanburg, and Anderson. Our threat is not over. You may even see the sun shining in the next couple of hours here. So though the threat right Right now, locally, is in Rutherford County, North Carolina. Do not let your guard down here in northeast Georgia, the upstate of South Carolina. Let's show you why, because we do have clearing here in north Georgia. The sun is shining in parts of Rutherford County. We've got enough breaks in the clouds here that this line that's moving through right here will contain some strong gusty winds and possibly begin to rotate. It will come through as a line. Let me show you that computer model that just came in. This is called our rapid refresh model. It corrects itself on the hour every hour to kind of uh, go with the current trends. So as we look ahead into the evening hours, look at that line just really blow up into our area. Again, this line has the potential to lift higher and higher because it's closer to the upper level low. So 7.30 tonight, we could still be dealing with some strong winds and embedded supercells in here that could contain a tornado or two. Now, as it moves into our area, 9, 10 o'clock, we've lost the daytime heating. So I think our threat from this is really between 6 p.m and 9 p.m. this evening. So we're going to have to watch that very, very closely here. But again, our threat here at home right now is in Rutherford County. This tornado warning goes until 4 p.m. You've got the rotating part of the thunderstorm here. Our eyes are really on the McDowell-Rutherford County line. We've now got reports of some damage in this area, several trees down, also uh, some uh, one at least on a building or a structure there. So we're watching that very closely. Uh, John, the rotation in this storm is something we'll have to watch very closely as it comes up and down the mountain. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, and just looking at uh, what the Weather Service is saying, still very strong rotation associated with that cell. And you're right, we're still getting some damage being reported uh, between uh, Macon and also the Rutherford uh, and McDowell County line uh, from some very intense thunderstorms. Those could be associated with some of the circulation or maybe straight line winds. Uh, remember, uh, straight line winds could go over 60 miles per hour, and that causes a lot of damage. In fact, that causes just as much damage is an EF0, EF1 tornado that we normally get in our area. So even though you don't, might not get a tornado, you can still get just as much damage uh, from a non-thunderstorm, a non-tornado thunderstorm cell. So pretty interesting that uh, tornado warning now for uh, central and eastern McDowell County and southern McDowell County, uh, Chris, is now uh, expired uh, at 345. So that's good news. But we still have for the top of the hour, so we still have another 13 minutes or so, Chris, before this other cell continues uh, to move quickly off to the northeast. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. Let's go ahead and take this uh, full, and I'll go ahead and uh, go in and show you. And while Chris takes a look at some more data, we just kind of go back and forth so we can look on the computers and get the latest uh, information from both the National Weather Service, from storm spotters, and also uh, even from the Storms Prediction Center out of Oklahoma, where they're kind of watching the system also very, very closely. So the yellow box, the breath of a storm warning continues for these areas, and the red box is a tornado warning which still continues. Boy, that's still strong rotation, Chris, just south of Morganton. Can we zoom on into that? I know you're looking at some data, but that's 
that's even stronger than it's been before. Sure is. Wow, that's impressive. So this is a possible tornado on the ground just south of you folks in Morganton and heading off to the north-northeast. 59 miles per hour there, 18. Uh, we call it click on it, but it's still about 60 miles per hour going in and out of that system. So it's pretty strong. And, of course, the rotation is always a little bit behind because when they do these scans, so this is rotation is probably farther, a little bit farther up to here because you can see it's actually up and through this area. Uh, let's go ahead and pull back a little bit, Chris, and let's get everybody an idea, if we can, on what's going on. So you folks in Rutherford, you're in the all clear. I mean, we're west and south. You're in pretty good shape right now. So this is really the only game in town right now. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings continue for you folks in Marion, but especially Morganton, and eventually over to you folks in Hickory, and then to follow into the northern foothills of North Carolina. Uh, this whole cell will continue to make it. It's almost like just slide right along the eastern slopes of the Blue Ridge Mountains, right, Chris? Sure it's is. Just kind of following that. It bumps into the cell. Probably just bumps into the mountains. Say that's the mountains like that. It bumps into it. Can't go. Up, up and over it, so it just kind of follows the mountain range and heads all the way up to the northeast. So you folks in Morganton, uh, you should have been in your safe room a long time ago because you still remain in that warning for about another 11 minutes or so. And dissected it, again, it's not very high at all. Uh, at about uh, 20,000 feet, that's really about as high as with the core itself, only going at about 10 or 15,000 feet. So it's certainly not a hail producer, and we've had very little lightning associated with these, these showers. So... It's just incredible wind shear, and that's what's spinning up these thunderstorms and potential tornadoes. So, the upstate's quiet now, and that tornado warning continues. And they have upgraded this now? I think they have, Chris. Yeah. Did, uh, they, ex did they extend it? They did. They've, they've cleared McDowell and Rutherford County. So, so okay. both of our counties in our area are now clear of the tornado warning. Come out of your safe spot there in McDowell, Marion, parts of Rutherford. And, uh, the, the worst is over for you. That's good news. That's good news. Now, so the warning now continues for you folks until Morganton. Uh, and for Burke County, and that goes until when now? Did they extend it to how far, Chris? Or did they just keep it until 4 o'clock, probably? Yeah, I think if so. If we click, they probably just kept it. Yeah. So they'll keep it there until 4 o'clock, so another 10 minutes or so. But at least now, McDowell and Rutherford County, you are no longer under a tornado warning. But the tornado watch still continues for our entire viewing area from now until at least 7 or 8 o'clock in this evening. That could even be extended. So, uh, so that's it. Tornado warning now continues for you folks in Burke County. Quite in the upstate back to northeastern Georgia. Chris and I will watch these thunderstorms develop back here to our west and see if that starts to pop some severe weather as we go down the road. We'll be back a little bit later on. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. To that level, but did you see the, the difference?